Welcome, Welcome back, back pop, pop stars. stars. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Benji. And this is our chocolate factory. Is that a... No, was, there's there's was, nothing there. Was that a black joke? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> We've got a new Wonka movie coming out, and this one's starring uh, Timothy Chalafant. So we decided we would watch the original. Benji, isn't this one of your favorite movies ever? This is one of my favorite movies. I love this movie. I always have as a kid. Beginning's a little slow. But once they get in the factory, whew, this movie really takes off. How do you feel about this movie? Um... Well, enough said. <laughs> Three, two, one. There's no earthly way of knowing. Ow. Oh, I always forget that it has this intro, but this is a long intro. That you don't that skip? That is kind of delicious. I remember this intro taking for fucking ever. It takes a very long time, but there's one thing specifically in there that had me fucked up. And it's that one that like comes down and like folds over oh, itself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know that, that one. Thing. This one. I don't know what that is, but I fucking want it. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna have to sit through fucking Candyman, which is like the world's worst musical number. Oh, come on. It's not the worst musical number, but But it's... who can take a sunrise? That's it? It's a two minute sequence. That felt like goddamn years when I was a kid. <laughs> I don't see any of them paying for this. I time. know. Who can take a sunrise? Shut up! I don't want to hear a goddamn song. Give me my goddamn candy. Let me get the fuck out of here. I will say I didn't care about this song, really. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about, sir? I literally came in here for food. But I guess he thanks. is just emptying his shop in this song, though. Who can take a rain Don't touch my daughter! <laughs> Wrap it in a song. Don't uh, touch my other daughter! <laughs> Soak it in the sun. Soak it in the sun and make a gravy lemon pie. Just hand it out. Look at him. Look at him. Just hand it out. Is anyone candy. paying for this shit? No. <laughs> I also just don't like him. Like, there is stupid yeah, old no. timey talking. <laughs> Why do you ask a look fish at how him, it look swims? At him, look at him! I'd They're fucking... robbing him fucking blind! <laughs> candy man. Look at him! Look at him! <laughs> just giving him free you rain in his damn the shop. to the whole shop? <laughs> God damn. The candy man thinks it true. Fuck you, Charlie! Yeah, you're poor. Nobody's paying in here, but you can't pay, so Fuck. this isn't for you. <laughs> oh... Oh, he's so poor. If only his father were alive. Ah, Grandpa fucking Joe. As soon as I get my strength back, I'm going to get out of this bed and help him. Fucking piece of shit. shit. Worthless, good for nothing layabout that lets his fucking daughter and grandson work their fingers to the bone every day so he can get free stew. And then when we get a free trip to a chocolate factory, what they fucking do? Look who can get the fuck up and sing a song. Grandpa fucking Joe. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Is this your supper, Grandpa? How about this? Charlie, where'd you get that? I stole it. It's my first payday. We'll have a real banquet. Oh, huh? I mean, no. Here's what's left. Please take it. I guess there's also just a certain nostalgia I don't have for, like, wispy, old-timey dialogue. Hi, Benji. Perhaps you should help me tell the pop stars that I'm happy. No, I don't blame you. The dialogue in older movies makes it a little harder to watch. Sometimes I like it. Like, I love It's a Wonderful Life or White Christmas. And nobody ever comes out. Not since the tragic day that Willy Wonka locked it. Why do you lock it? The chocolate makers in the world were sending in spies. Oh, that Slugworth, he was the worst. He, Mr. Wonka shouted, I shall be ruined. He locked the gates and vanished completely. About three years I later, like the Charlie and Chocolate Factory version of this backstory. Yeah. When I was a young lad. <laughs> the same exact age. Someone must be helping Mr. Wonka work the factory. But who? Slaves, maybe. That is the biggest mystery of them all. What's happening? Willy Wonka's opening it's his Christmas present. day. Giving people in, giving truckloads of chocolate away. He looks like one of those stop motion kids in like a Christmas movie. Like <laughs> he does. Buy golden tickets and the people who find them will win the big prize. 
surprise. A lifetime supply of chocolate. And as if this like were not enough. Decently fabulous surprise. A lifetime That's supply not. of chocolate will cure cancer. Clearly. Damn, I really do uh, want one of those bars, though. Has anyone ever described what they're supposed to taste like? Aren't they like marshmallowy? I think they taste like chocolate. To believe in one's dreams is a manifestation of insanity. But I dreamed the archangel appeared and told me where to find a golden Wonka ticket. Mm. And what exactly did he say? <laughs> well, what difference does that make? <laughs> Shut up, Offsetter, and tell me where the ticket is. We began with All right. five golden tickets. Like this every. is like a, a fun mania no sequence where it's, it's like to show... Huh? Yeah, no, what you're saying? Yeah, just showing how insane everybody is about this. Augustus Gloom! Augustus Gloom! Glue, the pride of Dusselheim! Are you singing the song in your head? Yeah. <laughs> From the, the newer one-ish. How does it make you feel to yep. be the first golden ticket finder? I'm gonna... Any other I'm feelings? Gonna... Mr. Gloop, would you mind saying... Mrs. Gloop, would you care to say <laughs> three words to the television show? You, you can't do that. He's gonna die. <laughs> Excuse me. Stop being creepy to my kid. <laughs> like, back off. This is all on camera. Happy birthday, Charlie. He ate the microphone. <laughs> Without hesitation. Without hesitation, sir. It's terrific. We each knitted a bit. And here's a little gift from Grandpa George and me. Is it a porno uh, mag or something? <laughs> is it a lottery ticket? It always bothered me that they didn't even buy the right kind of chocolate. But then again, that is very parent slash grandparent. I know. I got it! Where? Where? Let's see. Well, you didn't I? You thought I really had it. He's so shitty for that. Never mind, Charlie. He's a kid. He needed some fun. I wanted to be the first to find a golden ticket, Daddy. I know, Angel. We're doing the best we can. Goodness gracious. I want it now. The first girl that finds a golden ticket gets a one pound bonus in a pay packet. What do you think of that? A one pound bonus? Isn't that like a dollar? <sighs> like 250 or something? You probably Sweetheart, Angel. I thought Veruca was a little wart. I'm sure she just wants a ticket for the hype, but all of those boxes, half, a quarter, an eighth of the boxes in this factory are a lifetime supply. You already won. You don't need it. But that's the whole point. She's greedy. I She's get it. She's a greedy little... I get it. This machine will tell us the precise location of the three remaining golden tickets. <laughs> golden tickets. Golden tickets. It says, come back later. What? <laughs> Essentially. No answer. I won't tell. That would be cheating. cheating. I am now telling the computer that I will gladly share with it the grand prize. What would a computer do with a lifetime <laughs> supply of chocolate? <laughs> I'm not telling the computer exactly what it can do with a lifetime supply. I'm not telling chocolate. the computer exactly what he can do with a lifetime <laughs> supply. Of Shove it <laughs> up <laughs> your <laughs> ass. Violet Beauregard, finder of Wonka's golden ticket number three. Proud parent. I'd just rather be watching the, <laughs> the 2005 hey, why remake. Why did we pick this one then? Because it's a classic <laughs> it movie. Is. I love it. Here it is, golden ticket number three, and it's all. Tell us how it happened, Violet. I just don't like any of the characters. And I, I don't want to say that as a fault because, like, they are supposed to be unlikable. It's the point. Cool it, mother. Moment to say if any of you folks watching are dissatisfied. Excuse Ew. me. Get the fuck off my kid on live TV. Is she going to sing a song? Right oh, God. She sings a song, doesn't she? Good. Christ almighty. This is the song. When I remember it, it's in black and white. <laughs> That's how... <laughs> brain numbingly boring it is to me. I found a third ticket today. There are only two tickets left, you know? I wonder who the lucky ones will be. Well, in case you're wondering if it'll be me, it won't be. Just in case you're wondering, you can count me out. Charles. Ah! See you later. Yeah, oh God, it's happening. Okay, okay I'm bracing myself. <laughs> you get blue like everyone. But me and Grandpa Joe. I've definitely fast forwarded through this song a good amount of times watching this as a kid. That says a lot. I've watched the intro most times. That and a lot of times. A lot. I skip you you this. make up for it. Yeah. By skipping this that two minutes back. <laughs> oh. Patrons will know exactly <laughs> how we feel. I'll, I'll, who knows how much of this will make it to YouTube? We appreciate you, Miss Bucket, but we're we're good. Cheer up, Charlie. Please be the okay, last. I think this is it. You. 
Well, that was well, the rest of the world two was, minutes and a, two and a half minutes that you're not getting back. Is lucky winner number four, Mr. Mike TV. Hey, Mike, do you think we might shut that thing off? No, are you crazy? Why are you trying to talk to him when his show is on? You know? Wait till I get a real one. Pop won't let me have one yet, will you, Pop? Not till you're twelve, son. <laughs> <laughs> no. At least he got the right one. Does this he time. have a, a song? Mm, yes. One ticket left. Now let's see some of that gold. Which end shall I open first? That end. <sighs> I don't like suspense. Big. That bothers me. But also, you know, they're holding on to hope. So. I know. You finish it. I can. No, Grandpa, you do it. I just, for me, I'm like, right. okay. Here goes. <laughs> I think the I true chocolate factory is the friends we made too. along the way. I mean. I think that was kind of the point of what he said. They kidnapped my husband 12 hours ago. Oh when are we going God. to hear from them? What do they want? I'll give them anything. Anything they want. I, I want to have Harold back. Harold back. I would do anything for love. Go ahead, Willis. Oh, I would do anything for love. Uh -huh. I would do anything for love. What do they ask for? Whatever it is, they can have it. They want your case of Wonka bars. But I won't do that. No, no, I won't do that. <laughs> Fall in love with the rich, bold flavor, Dr. Pepper. One taste, and you get it. It's your husband's, your husband's life, life or, or your, your case, case of Wonka Boss. How long will it give me to think it over? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. For the fifth and final ticket has been found. Little boy's got to have something in this world to hope for. Especially What's he got to hope for now? Nine to five. Who's going to tell him? Five to nine. Well, let's not wait. Whatever it was. Ages. Oh, to five to nine. Yeah, let him sleep. Let him have one last dream. Depressing. Cheer up, Charlie. You, Madeline Durkin, how many Wonka bars did you open? About a hundred. Ten hundreds in a thousand. Therefore, you opened ten percent. How many did you open? Two. That's easy. Two hundred is twice one hundred. Not two hundred, just two. You didn't have to clarify two. that. You could have just you only kept on sale and let I him keep talking. Very much for chocolate. Well, I can't figure out just two. So you should be able to figure out two. You're the teacher. Fucking and you should know my financial situation. Again, it's like this movie does what it's trying to do well. I just am annoyed by it. Yeah. Everyone's so <laughs> fucking annoying to me. Good, yeah, no, we want the world to be irritating. <laughs> you did the right thing. Also, Many. this movie came out like a thousand years ago, so. Try a Wonka Scrum Diddly Umptious. No, now that's the not the one with the found, tickets. Uh, oh, oh, now you want payment. <laughs> Shit. I think I'll buy just one more for my Grandpa Joe. Why not try a regular Wonka bar this time? Fine. That gambler from Paraguay made up a phony ticket. That means there's one golden ticket still floating around somewhere. And guess who it's for? Yet another white kid. <laughs> there's no one else in the world. Don't get your hopes up, kid. Life's full of disappointments. You know that already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think he just chunked that chocolate in the street. <laughs> hey, everybody, this kid's you got a golden ticket. got the last golden ticket. No, I don't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. my God. It's God. I know. God, get your fucking smug ass, greasy ass, get fucking your ass, hands ass off hands. of me. There you go. Good, good person. Yikes. I congratulate you, little boy. How the fuck are you, you everywhere, every, everything, everywhere, all at once? Well, I think he probably knows where the golden Arthur tickets Slugworth, are. President of Slugworth Chocolates Incorporated. Now listen carefully because I'm going to make you very rich indeed. Back up. The everlasting gobstopper. Everlasting gobstopper. If he succeeds, he'll ruin. His stupid sleepy eyes. He's like, da 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 da. Just yeah, one yeah, everlasting yeah, yeah. gobstopper and bring it to me. Your reward will be 10,000 of these. A new house for your family. You could sell that and ticket for much more. For the rest of their lives. <laughs> look at this little house. Look, I've got it. This golden yeah. ticket is mine. You're a liar, Charlie. Like Charlie. Look at it, Grandpa. See for yourself. 
Read it, Joe, for no, heaven's that's sake. The new one. Greetings I was so happy when he just hopped up and we were done. Ticket, Mr. Oh, Willy doesn't Wonka. he have a song? Present this ticket at the factory <laughs> gates at 10 o'clock in the morning of the first day of October. God, I hate musicals sometimes. Your own family. Most times you do. I wish you could go. He said, oh, uh, yeah, oh, man. Oh, yeah, I guess my legs is hurt. I guess, uh, I guess oh, I'll guess i try to stand. Maybe. Oh, look at that. I'm It's up. a wow. miracle. Mom's standing back there like, fuck me, I guess. <sighs> I've just been keeping everyone alive for the uh, last, <laughs> since they all went to bed and stopped getting up. So I don't get a trip to the factory. No siree. At least he had a hard time getting up. It's a little less offensive than other grandpa in the other movie who just popped right up. Yippee! Look at me! Okay, you don't have to sing about it though. Too late. Look at me! Uh. <laughs> up and about. I haven't done this in 20 years. <laughs> no, I oh, just had a vision. You know, like in modern day musicals, they'll release like the clips of them in the recording booth and the cameras. <laughs> I just see grandfather recording. I never thought my life would be <laughs> anything but catastrophe. I always feel like the songs in this movie, I don't want to say are misplaced, but I'm like, who the fuck is this person singing? Like, what? Why am I listening to this fucker? He's happy. He's excited. And he's singing about it. It's like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And in the first 40 minutes, the three songs I've heard have not been by Willy Wonka, the Chocolate Factory, or Charlie. It's everybody else. They're all just random ass adults who think they have a say in this story. I don't give a fuck about you, Mom. I don't give a fuck about you, Grandpa Joe. I don't give a fuck about you, Candyman. Because I've got a golden ticket. You didn't get a goddamn thing. <laughs> I got it, Gramps. I've got a golden ticket, Grandpa. I'm sharing it. But it can be done. I never okay. dreamed that oh, we're still going. Okay. <laughs> I just want them after this to cut to the mom and her be like, what the fuck, Dad? <laughs> Look at this. Gene Wilder, more like Gene kind of Gene kind of tame. You know what I'm saying? His name's Gene Wilder. No, I know his name is Gene Wilder, but Gene right now slow. he's acting Gene Milder. I like that they all stopped cheering just because he has a cane. Ew, gross <laughs> disabilities. <laughs> Wait a minute. Both of his legs don't work the same. Disgusting. Burn him. Where were his parents to euthanize him when he came out the womb like that? <laughs> Freak. Clearly he's a witch. Toss him overboard. Destroy him. Impressive. Right, now the real movie starts, huh? We'll see. I'm Baruka Salt. Come My here. dear Baruka, what a pleasure. <laughs> look how pretty you look in that lovely mink coat. I've That's got three kid. others at home. Augustus Clue. See you. And in such it's also interesting that only kids won this like randomly uh my name is frankie <laughs> i'm three years old i'm a child i'm 12. Papi, papi. Silencio, mijo. Yeah. i'm pretty sure the remake specifically says kids but i i don't think this one did no they did at the beginning Wonderful. say what at the beginning i believe we have so much time and so little to see wait a minute <laughs> strike that reverse it thank you <laughs> Ah! Little surprises around every corner, but nothing dangerous. So they're supposed to be like now, robots? Will the children kindly step Slaves. Here. I mean, some of the it's Oompa just like Loompa jobs. It's like naked gold men on the other side being whipped. Ah! Honestly, ah! wouldn't put it past Willie to have found a civilization of gold oh, men. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so oily and whipped. Oh, God. Give me your coat, please. I can't see what it says on the bottom. I don't sign anything without my lawyer. My broker don't sign anything either. Then she don't go in. Uh -huh. Give me that pen. God. You're always making things difficult. Oh, my God. See, I think I've made things pretty easy for you. She's a girl who knows where she's going. What's all that small print there at the bottom? Oh, if you have any problems, dial information. Thank you for calling. Mike, Augustus. <laughs> His fuck you answers in this are They're good. so good. Sign away, Charlie. We got nothing to lose. You sure fucking don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to actually take your souls. <laughs> I mean, sure. Just through the other door, please. She's so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> You brought these people in here just to fuck with them. He loves like, fucking with people. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, oh, magic. And spitting. Why don't we have dessert now? Bring out the hell of another cream pie. What is this, Lunker? Some kind of fun house? Why, I'm having, having fun. fun. <laughs> hey, the room is getting smaller. And Leon's getting larger. Ralph Bonner. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Boys and girls. <laughs> Good for you, lady. It's like every character is just kind of miserable. <laughs> it makes it like maybe it makes the experience for me kind of like not tedious, but a little bit just I don't want to spend so much time with these characters. Fair. Because not the even whole Charlie point is, is so we can get rid of them. I mean, it's like because like the in the remake, the characters are annoying, too, but they're kind of fun to watch. Yeah, I don't um, know. It doesn't linger on how shitty they are for so long. You get a, you get the point. Then you're like, okay, cool. Fuck them off. <laughs> Again, to each their own. Come with me, and you'll, you'll be, be in a world of pure imagination. Let's see, finally, a song by the main guy. We'll begin. <laughs> He's waiting to hit somebody. Traveling in the world of my creation. What we'll Let's be friends. Best friends. Explanation. Have fun, you little shit. To compare with I wonder what that tastes like. Tastes like. Tastes oh, like. Looks like something I wouldn't have. I wouldn't want. It's probably like a marshmallowy puff. I just don't like candy this much. That's probably also my thing too. Like I don't. Like I'm full looking at all of this. I want a big gummy bear. Like, I don't like gooey, mushy, marshmallowy things. So, like, half of the stuff that they open up, I'm like, ugh. That doesn't look good. Ugh. <laughs> Gross. Even as a kid, I, I I liked the same thing you liked. Like, that little yeah. fudgy thing. I was like, that shit looks great. I did like this, though. I did. Oh, yeah. I thought this was fun. Doesn't he bite it? Am I crazy? No, he does. <laughs> what a disgusting I bet that was like waxy. I was literally like, I feel like that was just wax. Ruined your watershed, Wonka. It's polluted. It's chocolate. Yeah, the chocolate river looks weird to me. It's just water. It's like wa Nesquiki water. Literally just colored water. That's the most important. Thing. That looks like the runs, man. Yeah. It's my it's like yeah. there's that no was the first thing that when the new one came out, I was like, oh god, the chocolate river actually looks, looks like chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I never saw anybody with an orange face before. Well, now you have, so. Now what? From Lumpaland. Lumpaland? There's no such place. I am a teacher of geography. Oh, well, then you know all about it. Teacher what a geography. terrible country it is. A wang doodle would eat ten of them for breakfast and think nothing of it. Jesus. So I said, come and live with me in peace and safety. And I won't Away pay you. Away from all the wang doodles and <laughs> horn swagglers and snaz wangers and rotten <laughs> delicious wangers. Sounds like Knitch. stuff you'd find in a dungeon. Delicious knid. Yeah. A sex dungeon. <laughs> yeah, I want to touch my vernicious knid. <laughs> it is to secrecy. I transported the entire population of Oompa Loompas to my factory. The entire Daddy, population. And forced them to live in a... Right I guess right, there wasn't Ruka, a lot of them. Right. I'll get you one before the day is out. I want an Oompa Loompa now. Can you miss? This stuff is terrific. Mm. Grandpa, look at Augustus. My chocolate must never be touched by human hands. Lee, oh, don't do that. It's been don't touched. do that. You can... Augustus! Ah! Ah! My chocolate! Ah! Gross. My... Don't just stand there. Do something. You might have wanted to have, like, no. uh, police. Lee. Murder. Bring Charlie here. Yeah. Yes, this. <laughs> I'd have wanted to have, like, a little candy cane fence around that. Right? You know, if he didn't want to secretly <laughs> off these kids. <laughs> yeah. See, if Wonka in the Wonka prequel is not trying to secretly off kids, <laughs> who is he? We'll see. There's his coat going up the pipe. He's blocking all the chocolate. What if one of the smaller kids had fallen in the river? Dead. Dead. They would have just drowned. Who said that? What the heck? Take Mrs. Gloop straight to the fudge room, but look sharp or her little boy's liable to get poured into the boiler. You already hate me enough already. I don't like the Oompa Loompa songs. I think they're oh, stupid. But and there's... like one's good enough. They're I don't want to hear classics. Multi that's what I'm supposed to say. Oh, it's a classic, so I can never say anything against I'm not it. Saying any, I'm not saying you can't say anything not against you. I know. it. I'm not. I'm Obviously, not. we're not driving down the road listening to Oompa Loompa. <laughs> we, we should, could, though. We should. <laughs> But I will say, these were easier to believe that it was improv on the spot. Got a perfect puzzle for you. Oompa, oompa, it's like one song's good. I'm like, okay, cool. And then they do more. I'm like, I don't care. 
What do you get when you castle down sweets? Eating as much as an elephant eats. Also, judgmental fucks. <laughs> what do you get when your entire race is enslaved? That capitalism. They, they, that's what I'm about to say. They're like, we don't have a choice. He gave us the lyrics and said, learn it. Or else. <laughs> cool. One. Ooh. Hey, Daddy, I want a boat like this. A beautiful paddle boat. That's what I want. What she wants is a good kick in the pants. No, what she needs is a good kick in the pants. <laughs> I don't think she wants one. <laughs> no, what she needs is the words N-O. Suck them and you can spit in seven different colors. Spitting's a dirty habit. I know a worse one. Cocaine. <laughs> Black tar heroin. Oh, Thinking but picking your nose. Picking your nose. <laughs> but yes. They have to paddle the boat too? Of course they do. They They're have, fucking slaves. They didn't have electricity then. Hey, walk, I want off. The world and like every scene is them being like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> then go. <laughs> Nobody Fuck asks you off. to be here. I don't want to watch a two hour movie where people are complaining the entire time. <laughs> you don't want to be here now. I don't want to be here. Like. Oh shit, Benji. <laughs> the hypocrisy. The best part, though. You can't possibly see where you're going, Wonka. You're right. I can't. Uh oh. This is being strange. That granddad's demented <laughs> smile. <laughs> Where are these Why images? did they put this in? That's it's amazing, though. So random. This always did feel so random to me. There's no earthly way of knowing. But the rowers keep, keep on rowing. And they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing! We're there. Where? Girl. <laughs> a small step for mankind. That's but a giant the step best for part us. of the whole movie. Daddy, I do not want a boat like this. There's nothing wrong with the boat. It was everything around the boat that was the issue. No touching, no tasting, no telling. Old Slugworth would give his false teeth to get inside for just five minutes. I wonder what he offered Veruca. She doesn't need $10,000. Probably any of the 5,000 things she claims she wants. <laughs> I'll, offer, I'll get you anything in the factory They'd be like, want. Here, we're offering you $10,000. I don't need $10,000. Actually, you don't get $10,000. Well, now I want $10,000. <laughs> there you go, sweetie. <laughs> you got a garbage strike going on here, Wonka? Who does your cleaning up? Shouldn't you be wearing rubber gloves? You guys Shut the fuck are really up. annoying. Jesus Christ. It's like when I'm like doing something like you know, cooking or in my room or doing something that I do a lot and like my mom is watching me and I'm like, "You know, you shouldn't do it like this. You should do that." And I'm like, "This I do this every day." I do this every day. Please stop. Leave me alone. <laughs> Love ya. <laughs> Time is a precious thing. Never waste it. What the? He's absolutely bonkers. And it's not bad. Absolutely bonkers. Mm. <laughs> what the? I told you not to, silly boy. Your teeth! That's Damn, I want to try that one. Just blasted his mouth off. Not ready yet, though. Still too weak. Needs more jelly, man. No, you're going to blow somebody's jaw off. <laughs> What's that for? Gives it a little kick. <laughs> Is this up to any health code? Of course not. He probably kills every health inspector that comes in. <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> let me show you my vat of health ah! inspector. <laughs> mm, salty this time. <laughs> no, no, no! Forgive me, but no one must look under there. It's actually a naked machine. It's a machine made out of a human parts. Oh, gross. And to expose it is to show off its privates. <laughs> this is the one that's really going to sizzle old Slugworth. What's it do? Would you like to see? Yeah. Yeah, 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 the main. And those are its penises. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> What's that thing? It's penis. Ah. And then the spinning thing? Penis. Okay, cool. I think I'm seeing a theme here. Yeah. Those are little baby penises. <laughs> it makes everlasting gobstoppers. How do you make them? 
I'm a trifle deaf in this ear. Speak a little louder next time. <laughs> Who wants an everlasting gobstopper? Mumbler. What I never understood, though, is at the end when he hands it off, like, what if Charlie just wanted to keep it for himself and eat? I always thought that as a kid. I guess maybe if Slugworth never got it, if he's like, nah, it's been like three weeks and he hasn't given it to me. Yeah. I think he just wanted it. He would probably then go back to him and be like, hey, bud, you won. Maybe. Don't, don't, don't. That was not necessary. Why are he looking like a psycho? He is a psycho. I'm a psycho. <laughs> What you are witnessing, dear friends, is the most enormous miracle of the machine age. This little piece of gum is a three-course dinner. Bull. No, roast beef, but I haven't got it quite <laughs> right yet. I don't care. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Violet, now don't you do anything stupid. <gasps> What's it taste? Ah, I'm from an old time. I'm going to talk like this. He's also talking. He's a salesman. I know. So he's got like a... <laughs> Why doesn't she listen to Mr. Wonka? Because, Charlie, she's a nitwit. <sighs> and they're no better just walking around criticizing everyone. You know what I hate is when people criticize things and don't just shut up about it. <laughs> wow. <sighs> the parallels. What's for dessert, baby? Dessert? Blueberry pie and cream. Holy Toledo, what's happening to your face? Wow. Cool it, Dad. Let me finish. <laughs> yeah, your face asshole. Is cool it, Dad. Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. I told you I hadn't got it quite right yet. You can say that again. I told you I hadn't gotten quite right yet. What's wrong when we come to the dessert? He said you could say that again. Ah. Would you roll the young lady down to the juicing room at once, please? What for? For squeezing. Just to be squeezed. All right, here's another musical scene. All right, here we go. Her <laughs> 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 little. Chewing <laughs> all day long the way that a cow does. You can chew gum if you want to. It's not like a fucking seven deadly sin. Like chill. <laughs> also, you guys are like a corporation. You. <laughs> Okay. You literally fend off the people you're mocking right now. So shut yeah. the fuck up. There is no moral, like, There's high horse here. No moral high ground. Fucking fuck off. They're, like, mad about random social faux pas, you know? I feel like that's another thing that bothers me about this movie. I'm like, what are you trying to say? Like, what is his deal? Why is he just so anarchic? Well, it's fun. Well, well. Everyone you know? always, like, loves this movie. And they're like, it's sad. And I'm like, but what's it? fucking even saying it just seems like mishmash just, of words no it's just saying you know be respectful of other people's properties or else you'll turn into a fucking blueberry essentially sure lick an orange tastes like an orange lick a pineapple it tastes like a pineapple that seems so hey, unsanitary I I, I, incredibly unsanitary and i've thought that even as a kid the strawberries <laughs> taste like strawberries the snozberries taste like snozberries who ever heard of a snozberry you did right now we are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Like, what the fuck does that mean? So I wonder <sighs> if he's quoting things. He it probably is. Like, is it like if we did it now, and like, you know, she was like, who's ever heard of a snozberry? And he was all like, fetch is not going to happen. <laughs> 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 like, just something completely fucking random that as a kid, she'd be like, what? But I daren't sell it yet. It's still too powerful. And then why does he... Because Grandpa is a piece of shit that almost got him disqualified from the prize because he's selfish and he does what he wants. But, like, why is he even like this? Like, where is this character lapse all of a sudden? The entire time they're like, man, they don't listen. Man, they don't listen. And you man, they don't literally, listen. literally had your own moment where you did exactly what the last two kids did, which was he said, don't try this. And then you tried it. You just lucked out. I'm a shooting star. I'm a rocket. I'm a giraffe. This bothers me more now that I'm like, how so incredibly hypocritical this is. It's like, again, what the fuck is this movie trying to say? Because it does, it like, it calls him out on this, but then it's also like, you passed my test. When really, I think the only test was just don't give the thing to Slugworth. <sighs> Stupid. I'm a bird. I'm a plane. No, I'm... Just like all the other shitty kids. Don't burp too much, you're gonna fucking fall. 
<laughs> Shit. I wonder yeah. if the book gave more of a reason for them to do that and why it was okay for this to happen. And if not... I remember, he did not like uh, Rob Dahl did not like this book uh, movie. Mm. These are the geese that lay the, the hell golden did he get these from? As you can see, they're larger than. That's your question. Yes. <laughs> what other question is there? Where did the Loompas come from? The Loompas came from Lupaland. We got a whole lore about them. I need to know where the fuck the golden geese are from. The golden geese land. Right. The egg decator can tell the difference between a good egg and a bad egg. Wonka, what is a bad chocolate egg? Is it one just... that's I hate um uh, I hate different uh, people of different races. <laughs> I was like, where are we going? <laughs> oh, that's a bad egg. Women should be paid equally. Ding ding. <laughs> Yay! Bonka, how much do you want for the golden goose? She can't have one. Who says I can't? Man I with did. a funny hat. I want one! The man with the funny hat. <laughs> you mean Wonka? Gooses! Geeses! I want my geese to lay gold eggs for Easter. I think she's the only kid that got a song. She is. At least as of this point. Now. Impressive. I want, I want the, the whole world. world. Again, I was just thinking how strangely these songs have been diversified through the cast. <laughs> yeah. Just like just doled out randomly. Strangest assortment of like, <laughs> oh, oh, they're singing? Like, I this think, movie could have the janitor come and sing a song. And I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense in this fucking universe. I feel Sorry. like they had... <laughs> They put like a bunch of different colored beans in a hat, and they're like, "If you get a red one, you get a song." <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm Charlie. Fuck off, yeah, Charlie. Yeah, don't give a fuck, Charlie. Veruca gets a song apparently. Uh, the Candyman can. I always felt bad for these guys right here. Like guys, ah, oh, they're just trying to get their jobs done. <laughs> oh. He was a bad egg. Uh. <laughs> Where's she gone? To the furnace. Hold on! Daddy's coming! There's gonna be a lot. At least he loved her enough to uh, dive in after. I know. What if it went good egg? <laughs> oh, just slightly misguided egg. <laughs> I think that furnace is lit only every other day. So they have a good sporting chance, haven't they? <laughs> They're dead. Yeah, this movie doesn't follow up, does it? No, it doesn't. You know exactly who's to blame. The mother, the mother and the, the father. father. We still have each other. Shall we press on? Right back to our regularly scheduled programming. Pretending like they didn't just steal some fizzy lifting drink. <laughs> Notice they kept their mouths shut, though, when Veruca went down. They were like... <sighs> Oh, man. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, uh, sucks, but it could happen to anybody, really. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. You changed your tune up real yeah. quick. Oh, no, no. I just, I just, you know, I'm kind of an empath, so I don't like to judge anyone. Because really, who are we to judge anyone? We're just people. We're just people and everybody makes mistakes. And everybody makes mistakes. So she made a mistake and I might have made a mistake sometimes in my life. Not today, but other times. And I forgive her and, 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 even, and somebody would forgive me too. Is what it is. <laughs> yeah, is, that, is that so, Grandpa Joe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I suppose you all know how ordinary television works. You photograph something. Sure, I do. You photograph something. And then the photographs are split up into millions of tiny pieces. And they go whizzing through the air down to your TV set where they're all put together again in the right order. You should open your mouth a little wider when you speak. I remember my brother having to explain why he would respond to him like that with the I'm a triple death in the Wait, why was he responding to him like that? Basically cuz he's like, yeah, I fucking know. Like that's what I was going to say. Oh. <laughs> with Did the, the ever... chocolate bar just come alive and scream. <laughs> no, that was his mom. Oh. Can you send other things? Anything you like? Doesn't really seem feasible to be building like double sized versions. No, it's like huge waste of product. It's a waste of supplies for literally zero return because you're giving away free items. Wait till the kids back home hear about this. Nobody's gonna hear about <laughs> yeah, this. Look at him. Me? I don't want to go in there. Shut up. Well, fortunately, small boys are extremely springy in the last oh. so I think we'll put him in my special taffy pulling. He's gonna die. What's he saying? No, I'm not gonna oh, hold no, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what do you get from a glut of TV? A pain in the neck and an IQ of three. 
or a successful YouTube channel that pays your bills. <laughs> also, at the end of the day, the irony of you singing this at to an audience that's watching TV. <laughs> I promise you they'll be quite all right. Maybe. But maybe they'll be a little bit wiser for the wear. Sure about that? Did we do something wrong? Yes. Huh. You stole fizzy lifting drink. I I'm mean, he's going to tell out. you later. Just like an adult, though, to fuck up a kid's life. Right. And then get mad when somebody holds them accountable yep. for the actual rules. If anything, that's probably the most realistic thing in this whole movie. <laughs> Maybe that's the message. Adults are the ones that fuck kids up. I think so. The, the lifetime supply of chocolate. When does he get it? He doesn't. Because he broke the rules. We didn't say any rules, did we, Charlie? Wrong, sir. Wrong. Wrong. Under section 37B of the contract signed by him, all offers shall become null and void if, and you can read it for yourself. Yeah, opens the safe copy. that's already open. Undersigned. Why is everything half? Privileges and licenses here. Is he only half a person? Etc. 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 Et Tremendous <laughs> incendium gloria cultum. Etc. 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 Et et you stole fizzy lifting drinks. You bumped into the ceiling, which now has to be washed and sterilized, so you get. Nothing. You, you lose. lose. Good, Good day, day sir. sir. Ooh. I'm like this as the thing that wins him over. I just don't. Whatever. Well, I think especially even after, I think it was even more important that he gave it back now because now would be the time where he'd be like, well, at least I'll get the $10,000. Honestly, Charlie would have been better off just taking the, the $10,000 in hand. He didn't know he was going to get anything from this. So shines a good deed. You won! You did it! You did it! I'm <laughs> the emotional whiplash! Look, your mood swings are giving me whiplash, Willie. I had to test you, Charlie. Chocolate How much more of this movie is there? But that's just the beginning. We'll take the Wonkavator. The Wonkavator? Wonka I want to take the Master Vader. Master Vader? <laughs> then wow. it shoots you up. Yeah, I always never knew why they were worried about shooting through the ceiling. So I was like, that's mainly metal. Yeah, because in the in the book, it's the glass elevator. Yeah, but this is like very metal. How did you like the chocolate factory, Charlie? Was all right. I think it's the most wonderful place in the whole world. I'm very pleased to hear you say that, because I'm giving it to you. I mean, sure. Right, I, I feel like you might want to test Charlie, somebody's creativity. Who can I trust to run the factory when I leave? Why don't you leave the chocolate factory to the Oompa Loompas Loving who are running it? <laughs> They're savages. <laughs> so the factory's yours, Charlie. You can move in immediately. What happens to the, the rest? The whole family. I want you to bring them all. And so I'll murder them. <laughs> They'll be my oh, new Charlie. flavor of chocolate. What? Don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he always wanted. What happened? He lived happily ever after. See, like, <laughs> what, I don't... Like, what the fuck is this movie about? What? They're having a great time in their little sky elevator. It just feels very kind of like, don't be selfish, but also maybe be selfish. Maybe, I don't know. Be a little selfish, but be, be, be tolerably selfish. <laughs> You know what? I'll say that that was still, it's charming. There's a lot to like about it. Obviously, I was leaning into a little bit of my character. The character who hates, who grumbles. The character who is Rizzo. It's a character. I still stand by the fact that it's a really weirdly arbitrary musical. I don't like any of the musical numbers. I can sing along. It doesn't mean I like them. It's still, still fun And it's movie. a character that doesn't like it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Benji, what do you think about the movie? Obviously, I love this movie. This is one of my favorites. I actually haven't watched it in a while. I, I realized that as we were watching. I was like, damn, I haven't sat down and watched this in a few years. It has a cozy atmosphere. I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. If you grew up loving it, I can see why. And I can see why into your older age, you're still going to enjoy it. I hated this movie as a kid, and it really just hasn't changed much as an adult. So... <laughs> And well, I yeah. can understand. Maybe. Like the Candyman song on its own, great song. The Candyman song in this movie, Jesus Christ, get me out of this. If I was a kid, I'd love it because Candyman song means I get unlimited free candy. So <laughs> I mean, yeah, in real <laughs> life, that'd be dope as hell. Anyway, if you want to watch this full reaction, it's on Patreon, $5. Benji, what else do they need to do? They need to check out and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed. But also check out our horror channel if you're into horror movies and subscribe over there. Um, yeah, there's no knowing what we're showing over there. <gasps> <gasps> over there. <laughs> Until next time.
I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. Sweet dreams, pop stars. Keep watching. You're back. What? Uh, all right, bye, y'all. Mr. Willy Wonka. Mr. Willy. Oh, I bet you want to see that, Willy. Wonka. I'm good. Benji, do you want to see Wonka's Willy? You know. Do you want to get a taste of his chocolate bar? You know. Do you want to lick up them nuts? I'm allergic. Do you so. want to stick it up your slugworth? <laughs> Ew, that's... that's. Do you want to be his everlasting gobs... Mm, Mm, slobber. slobber. <laughs>